How's it everyone? We're back again. The topic today is once again the Ranger 3.2. There we have the Powermax bolt-on upgrade turbo from Garrett. Here's the stock standard original turbo which you'll find on your OEM vehicle. I'm going to open this up and show you what the difference is between the two. I've already removed the turbo out of its plastic packet. Right, what we're going to do is just pull the cover off the REA and uh, let's have a look and see what the differences are visually without starting to take verniers and things to the, the deal. Right, first of all you can see on the right hand side is the Powermax Turbo, it has obviously an eight main blade billet wheel which is machined from solid and it is based on the aerodynamics of the generation 2 racing ball bearing turbochargers something similar that you'll find on your GTX 2867 G series G25 550 and G25 660s there is a slightly smaller six blade splitter cast compressor wheel on the original turbocharger housings are the same mounting faces are the same REAs are the same they are 100% identical where you'll find the differences on the turbine side will be turbine housing which I'll show you in a second the material that they've used is different and I believe the design internally will be slightly different as well uh, material specification you will pick up by that lettering over there HLM1 versus HLM2 you probably find a different heat range um, between these two materials the turbine wheel itself has also been revised uh, according to Garrett and you'll also obviously see tooling number changes as well so there's definite changes to the housings uh, although they are both AR93s there will definitely be differences inside of the housings um, including the turbine wheels so this is not a hybrid turbo a hybrid turbocharger is simply a turbo that has a larger compressor wheel machined into the into the uh, the compressor housing and reassembled after after being balanced and uh, obviously some some of the companies flow test them uh, some most of the companies locally do not have the facility to flow test um, any of these turbochargers so they will essentially disassemble machine housing by hand which is also not very very good clearances are everything when it comes to compressor wheel efficiencies um, and then once they've done that they'll uh, balance the turbos reassemble and off they go so um, that's basically the breakdown between these turbos Powermax is a revised turbine wheel, turbine housing, turbine housing material, as well as compressor wheel. Everything else remains bolt-on, all the flange faces are the same, and everything is supplied with gaskets.